Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of DABCC TV, or we also call this now IT Video Shorts. And the idea here is real simple, and that is to, in 10 minutes, introduce you guys to one of these many different companies and solutions that are out there today. So today, I'm really excited about having a, a really amazing solution that bridges uh, all this disparate, all these you know data out there, uh, a company called Unifile. So today we have their CEO and, and founder, uh, uh, Vinky, with us. And, and so, Vinky, you, you ready to do this thing? Yes, well, I'm ready to go. <laughs> perfect. That, that sounded ready. So we have 10 minutes. So let's cut straight to it. So as always, we need to introduce you. Who are you and what do you do over at Unifile? Yeah, uh, my name is Srinivasa Venkatraman. I go by Venki. Um, I'm the founder and uh, CEO of Unifile. And, uh, you know, I used to work for a pretty successful company like Zone Labs. We introduced personal firewall to the consumer market and Zone Labs was acquired by Checkpoint. And after that, I worked at uh, AppStream, uh, streaming applications, and that company was uh, acquired by Symantec. And then um, I got together with my buddy from Zone Labs, who was the co-founder of Zone Labs, Conrad Herman, and we started um, PrimaDesk. Initially, we did uh, the consumer product, but we are now uh, creating the enterprise product called Unifile. That's what we are going to talk about. Well, perfect, perfect. So, uh, you know, this is a, a, a demo heavy, so, uh, uh, but a little bit uh, a PowerPoint. So real quick, can you tell us a little bit more about Unifile? What are you guys trying to solve over there? Okay, so <laughs> basically, let me show that uh, pictorially, uh, you know, uh, using the presentation. So today, uh, in a corporate environment, people have Windows File Share, SharePoint, and a lot of different places where uh, the data is uh, um, data is residing, and the users want to access all these data using multiple devices. The problem with with Today's setup is there is no sync, no search, no sharing, uh, no mobile access. So we are still living 20 years behind times. So that's why all the users are saying, oh, I need Dropbox because, you know, all the cloud-based services like Dropbox, Box, and others, they give all these features and make it very easy for people to access and work with their documents or co uh, content. So what we have, uh, what we do is we bring Dropbox to your file share. So you don't have to move the files anywhere. Just it takes about 40 minutes to 60 minutes to install and configure Unifile. Once you have done that, now you are able to give your employees all the features they want, like search, edit, sync, manage, share, li sharing links. We are making it possible for you to give all the features very securely. And once you decide to go to the cloud, uh, then we connect the cloud-based services with your um, you know, on-premise uh, data so that the users can seamlessly work with all their data from a single dashboard. They can move things around and the migration to the cloud also becomes very, very easy for you. Does it make sense? It makes total sense. You bet it does. Um, but don't files inherently <coughs> become less secure as soon as they, you know, they hit the they leave prim as soon as they hit the mobile devices. How how are you guys able to maintain security while delivering it anywhere, any place, anytime? Okay, that's a pretty good question. Um, a couple of things about security, right? One is who is able to access the files and when they can access the files and all uh, uh, that kind of security. So uh, with Unifile, let's say you have files and file shares and SharePoint and all those things, and you have set up all the access controls. Unifile does not require uh, admin access to these servers or you know, we do not ask you to put anything on these servers. So we cannot change the access control you already set up. So when the users are coming in using the Unifile mobile uh, apps, they they will follow exactly all the access controls that are already set up. So that's one part of the security. The second part of security is what happens when after the file goes to the mobile device. So with Unifile, they're only getting um, uh, 
uh, they're getting, uh, they can browse the files. When they edit the files, we bring it down, let them edit it behind the scenes. After the edit is done, we copy the file back to wherever it came from and then delete the file from the local device. So, so that's one more level of security because the no files is left behind on the device. To further enhance security, we also interface with Zen Mobile, Symantec Seal Program, AirWatch, uh, MobileIon, all these different kinds of EMM providers so that you can put on additional securities on your mobile device so when the file goes there, you can put more security features like no copying, no downloading, all kinds of other security features. So overall, it's very secure. Makes sense, makes sense. So getting mobile access to files is great, right? But full productivity means being able to do so much more. Uh, what are some of the other ways that Unifile is able to help you be truly productive? Yes. Okay, so <clears throat> once you set up Unifile, you can access Unifile different ways. One is the web application. So you, from one dashboard, you are able to see all your files, no matter where they are, whether they are in Windows File Share, SharePoint, Dropbox, or Box, you can see it in one place. And you can search across all these services. So you, I'm doing one search, um, and it will it will search across all my accounts. So my session expired, but now it's uh, back in. And so I'm uh, doing a search. See, it found files in Office 365, in Google, in Box, Dropbox, all different places. And you can see it's not a file name search. It's a, this particular file, 3.txt, uh, uh, is, you know, um, just one, uh, I mean, it doesn't have either Prima Desk or search in the file name, but when I double click on it and bring it down, oh, cool. you see the Prima Desk uh, search is there. So it's, uh, it's very, very easy for you to find files and work with them, no matter whether you're using your mobile phones or your, um, you know, web app uh, or your PC, okay? So this is one way to access all your files and uh, um, uh, editing them and things like that. The next uh, way you, we increase productivity is the ability to uh, access files that are in multiple cloud source directly from your file manager. For example, this is my box, a Dropbox account, and I am going to access the Dropbox account directly from my um, file file manager. You see that my uh, mounted my uh, Unifile account as a drive on my machine. So this demo file.txt um, is visible right there. See so all these three files. Now I'm going to edit this file as if it is on my local machine. So I double click on it, it comes up. Now I'm saying test for Doug. Okay, and I save this file. Now if I go to Dropbox, it see it said this file was edited just a few seconds ago, zero seconds ago. And if I open the file in Dropbox, the changes I made are there. So I edited a file directly from my um, file manager, the files that are in Dropbox, right? So you can access any of your files like this and edit them. So that's the second uh, way we make people productive. And then the third thing is the mobile app. So uh, from, you, from your mobile phone, you are able to do all these things automatic. I mean, very similar to what, what, what you just saw uh, using your PC. So you can do all of those things directly from your mobile phones also. So you can search for files um, uh, from your mobile phone so that you don't have to go into each uh, one of these apps to find and work with your files. So you do one search and it finds the files on different services 
um, directly. And, and then you can work with those files, you can share, you can copy, you can make it favorite or you can delete. So it increases the productivity of employees um, when they are using their mobile phones. Okay, Vinky, that, that looks great. Can you talk about some of the integrations that you guys have built in? I, I know that you support a lot of different things, you know, things like uh, EMM solutions, ZenApp, Outlook, encryption, uh, antivirus, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Can you show some of that? Yeah. Um, so the, one of the things is uh, since we uh, sit in the middle and everything goes through us, uh, it's uh, very easy for us to encrypt files and decrypt files as they go in, as well as virus scan files. And we also have uh, other integrations. So let me show you one by one. I already showed you the integrations with File Manager, where you can, you know, um, integrate your your uh, Unifile account, and then you can work right inside the File Manager. Another thing you can do is integration with um, Outlook. So if you have a new email and let's say you wanted to send an email to somebody and wanted to attach a document, um, so you can then just bring up the um, Unifile uh, Outlook plugin and then you can go to any of your um, uh, including your Windows file share, and then uh, you know pick a file uh, from uh, from any of these accounts from a folder, and then just just share a link. So it gives you a link, and you just paste the link. Now you you attached that particular document uh, without actually attaching the document, but attaching a link to the document. So that's our Outlook integration, and we also integrate with your um, so uh, we also integrate with your encryption and virus scanning technologies. Uh, for example, um, in this example, we'll show how you can encrypt files in Box um, uh, using your semantic uh, uh, encryption technology uh, and and you know maintain more security for your documents. So. Um, we have encrypted the file, so I've tried to uh, directly access the file using the uh, Box client. So I bring up Box client and go to this uh, folder and click on Constitution. So you see that uh, you're not able to see the file properly. Now I, I can do the same thing using the Unifile client. So I'm going to go to the box account. I'm going to go to that folder and click on constitution dot uh, and say I want to open that file. It's asked me which application you want to use. So I'll pick WPS Office and see. Voila, you, you could see the document. So that uh, because when it goes through us, we decrypt the document and show it to you. And not just that, usually when you encrypt uh, files, you lose a lot of functionality like for search and sharing and all those things. But when you are doing it through us, I searched for a, a word called domestic and it found the files. I can open the file in WPS office. See, uh, the, it did have the word domestic in it even though the file name doesn't have it. So even in on encrypted files, you can search, uh, and, and the user can work with it as if uh, you know everything is normal. But because it is encrypted, it's pretty safe. Nobody can go directly and access the file. Uh, so even if uh, you lost your box password or you know somebody else got access to box, still your content is safe. So uh, another thing we we have is the ability to uh, work with uh, content, um, you know, uh, EMM and MDM uh, applications. So I'm going to show how we have integrated with uh, Semantic um, uh, Work Hub and you know the other uh, application. Other uh, we also have very similar integration with uh, Citrix. So Basically, um, you go to uh, your Symantec 
work hub. Uh, in this case, um, you know, yeah, in the case of Citrix, it will be the Citrix Zen Mobile uh, client. Um, so once you log in, then you have a bunch of applications that are that are published inside uh, the uh, inside the MDM application, and you can launch um, you know Unifile directly from there. The advantage of doing that is in, inside this container, you have a lot more security, uh, and you know, um, and you can have lot a lot of different security policies like remote wipe and no. Uh, ability to cut and paste, et cetera, et cetera. So, so now, uh, now uh, Unifile is running, you know, under the control of the semantic uh, work hub. And it's exactly the, the same concept uh, with uh, whether it is AirWatch or Citrix, uh, um, Citrix Zen Mobile or anything else. So, those are the different kinds of, uh, you know, integrations and partnerships we have. Does it make sense? It makes total sense. And I have one last question for you, and that is, uh, and I usually ask this one before we start the demos, but I'm going to ask it on last uh, this time, and that is, what does it take to set up? What does it take to get to the point where what you're showing us? You know what I mean? So it, it literally takes 40 minutes so uh, to uh, set up and configure as I mentioned to you before, um, we talk to all these different services with standard published APIs, and we do not touch these. We do not ask for admin privileges or ask you to put anything in these servers. So once you set up uh, all these uh, different, um, you know, once you in set up your server, uh, installing and configuring will take less than forty minutes. And all you are doing is running an um, uh, running uh, an installer to install the server, and that's about it. Um, so I, I'll show you a uh, few uh, things that you can do as an admin, and you will see how easy it is to set up uh, like connector. So, for example, connecting to your uh, different servers usually takes uh, professional service, one week project, and all those things. With us, connecting to a data source is as easy as five, six different clicks. For example, let's say we want to set up for 1,000 employees all their home shares automatically in Unify, right? All you will do is you'll say, okay, it's a Windows file share kind of um, a service and it is home say employee home share and then you will you'll say smb colon path to home share right it will be a common path and then it will be username at the very end so if you uh, for me it could be prima as home share and then um, username uh, at the very end. So you just say uh, username and say add to all user accounts. That's it. So you have set up, uh, you know, uh, you automatically added thousands of users' home shares uh, to their account. That's it. So it's that simple to set up um, things inside, um, inside Unify. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. We went a little bit over the 10 minutes, but that's okay. So uh, I really appreciate your time today. Uh, before we, you know, we close this thing off, if somebody wants to learn more, what do they need to do? And then, of course, I'll just go ahead and give you the last word. So you can, uh, you know, uh, send an email to support at premedus.com or you can go to www.unifile.co or www.premedus.com. And you have all the information you need there. Perfect. Thanks again, buddy. I look forward to uh, learn it, you know, to seeing the next releases and things like that. Really, really neat solution. Thank you so much. Thank you, Doug. Thanks for giving us this opportunity.